We have looked over each of the dragons, either in or coming to Day of Dragons, but there are plenty more creatures that will be roaming and swimming this world. We all know the thornback crawlers, skittering bugs that can often be found around their nests, feeding on small toxic insects and concentrating them to fuel their own chemical deterrent. Many a dragon has had to munch on these bugs, only then to be forced to sleep off their toxins. Apparently, the Forgotten Forests were not where they normally reside, instead living mostly in the Lava Lands, which explains their very dark to red colouring. Some dragons will compete, trying to find the biggest thornback to bring back to their clan. The Bulbous Spine Scrab, or just Scrab for short, is an opportunistic feeder. They mostly just pick out crustaceans and scraps of whatever they can find along the marshy shores and rivers of the Forgotten Forests. But if something is small enough, a scrab might try and make a meal out of it. That includes young hatchlings. Their boldness more often leads to them becoming a meal mart. The sounds they make has earned them the nickname of Giggle Popcorn, along with Spicy Meatball. The Bulbous Spine Scrab is expected to scuttle into the game very soon as part of the Genesis update. The waters won't always be empty, as we can expect the whiskered paddle tail to start spawning in the lakes and rivers of the future. This fast swimming fish is adept at living in most water, while using their barbells to help them feel for insects landing on the water's surface, as well as food in the silt and mud that collects at the bottom. Dragons find their flesh particularly tasty, however many struggle to catch them. The Cinchcrest wyvern being the exception, who almost exclusively prey on these aquatics. With the Helping Herbies update, we should start seeing life returning to the water soon. Dragons are not the only creatures that find the paddle tail tasty, and their return will soon draw in large creatures to the water. The swamp snapper is not to be taken lightly, and any unexpecting dragon had best beware when they go to the water to drink, or they could end up with more than they were bargaining for. An ambush predator, the snapper prefers to wait for its food to come to it, and it's really not picky. Small eyes mean its eyesight is not very good, relying mostly on smell and movement to guide it to a meal, with its powerful tail and legs helping it to lunge at incredible speeds from the water to grab anything it might consider to be a meal. Which is pretty much anything. Come the toxic exotics patch, it won't be safe to go back to the water. The cold drives many to the icy caves and caverns of the winter winds, but few stop to think who made these holes. The cave cutter is perfectly at home in the cold, carving winding tunnels in its search for anything edible trapped in the ice. It can be quite aggressive to anyone that wanders into its cave system, but those brave enough, or desperate enough, to hunt them will earn themselves a hearty meal. In the harsh winter winds, one would expect the cold to be your greatest foe, but under the ice hides a creature all dragons learn to fear, and a living warning that all are mortal. The Snow Slayer Worm is a sight you won't soon forget, if you survive the encounter. Gather your clan, and maybe a few other clans, if you are to have any chance of taking down this beast. The Rhino creature has yet to earn its native name, but no dragon will be able to call it an easy meal. Its size and strength is only outmatched by its armour, which has evolved to perfectly repel aerial attacks. For many of the larger dragons, taking down one of these beasts is seen as a rite of passage, or a way for couples to prove their worth to each other. The dune weaver prefers to rely on camouflage among the shifting sands of the dunes, its body looking like a pile of rocks or bones bleached in the harsh sun. If that doesn't work, they are prone to rolling themselves up and trying to be as difficult as possible to eat. Too bad there are a few other options. The dunes are an inhospitable place to call home, with little but death and heat. However, it's not the surface that holds the greatest danger, but what lies underneath. The truth is that all dragons have to land at some point, be it for food, water, or to ease tired wings. But each step is a risk, and any moment could be one too many. If you feel the sand shift beneath your claws, move, as fast as you can, and as high as you can. The Sand Slayer Worm is not a creature any dragon wants to face alone, and just pray it's one of the little ones and not its mother.